Happy Tuesday, everyone. Um, thanks so much for waking up early to move and breathe together. Uh, our practice today is, <laughs> I've been calling it like a variety. It's like the variety spice pack. Um, so one thing that we will be incorporating is eagle arms. And I always just like to um, remind people that eagle arms is an option and you by no means have to take it. I know for some bodies, eagle arms um, doesn't feel great, isn't accessible. Um, so if this full double wrap doesn't work for your body or at any point begins to not feel good anymore, you could also do backs of the hands together. That's an option as well as um, forearms together. And I really like this forearms together option because if you keep your shoulders settled into your torso, but you squeeze in and up, you'll strengthen through your shoulders. Um, you'll feel that effort and you'll still have the same hug in that Eagle Arms offers. So um, there's some options for you. And then of course you can always choose to take your hands to your heart goddess arms, airplane arms, any arms, etc. So um, for our heart space intention, what's come up for me this week is this idea that what we all desire as humans is to be accepted. And we all want to feel accepted. We all desire to be loved, um, to be seen, to be um, appreciated just as we are. And so we get to practice that with ourselves on our yoga mat. And our yoga practice is um, this opportunity to meet ourselves and to welcome ourselves fully, um, our whole selves, right? every layer of us. And so as you travel through our practice this morning, um, give yourself permission to mm, really enjoy your time with yourself, like having this little date with yourself on Tuesday morning and allow yourself to appreciate all that you are in every shape and every movement that we that we travel through. So um, simple, but not easy. <laughs> and this practice of accepting ourselves is um, one that then allows us to accept each other that much more too. So. Without further ado, we will start in Shavasana on the back body. Um, you can also start in seated meditation if that feels better. But go ahead and settle in. Close your eyes. If you're using the playlist, press play. And just take a moment to feel the contact between your body and the earth below. And the connection between you and your yoga mat. This place to which you can come and you are fully accepted. You get to come as you are, welcomed by your breath. And as you start to deepen each breath in, and lengthen each breath out. Just allow everything beyond this moment to release away. You need to filter through you know, the clutter in your mind, distractions, until all that's left behind is a slow and steady inhale. Your slow and steady exhale. Okay, to practice offering acceptance to others, we practice with ourselves, okay, including our whole selves in our lives, acknowledging all that we are. And so inviting yourself to your practice this morning allowing yourself to see yourself clearly and fully. Go ahead and take a really deep breath in through your nose. And a clearing exhale to release. And 
And again, breathe in through your nose. The cleansing exhale all the way to empty. And then one more time, breathe in really full. And exhale all the way. Then as you seal your lips and start to breathe in and out of your nose, you can go ahead and find your way into a full body stretch. So reach your fingertips up and overhead to the length of your fingertips all the way down to your feet. You take a couple circles to your ankles, your wrists. And then start to bring your knees into your body. And as you pull your thighs in close, take a deep breath to the back of your heart. And on your exhale, take both your hands to your right shin, extend your left leg out across your yoga mat. As you pull your right thigh in close, take an inhale. And go ahead and find your supine twist as you exhale, right and tip over to the left. Good breath into your right side. Maybe twist a little bit deeper as that breath empties away. And as you make your way back to center, keep your right knee bent and then land your right foot to the earth. Use your right foot to square your hips and then use your core, your center strength to lift your left leg up to the sky. Uh, good. And as you reach your left leg to the ceiling, go ahead and reach behind your left leg. And find a little opening for your hamstring. So any amount of softness to your left knee, you might flex your left heel towards the sky. Let your shoulders slide away from your ears. So you take one more. And keep your left leg lifted to the ceiling and start to reach your hands up and overhead like your full body stretching out. And as you pull your navel to your spine, flex your left heel, you're gonna inhale, lower your left leg slowly toward the hover. So take your time, resist gravity with the strength of your center. And then as you breathe out, press down to your right foot like an anchor. Pull your left knee into your heart, lift your head and shoulders, and reach forward towards the front of your yoga mat. A heart towards your thigh, thigh to your heart. And then breathe in, start to lengthen your left leg out, reach your hands up and overhead. Do the same thing on your exhale, drive to your right foot. Pull your left thigh in close, lift your head and shoulders, reach forward, forward, forward. And then one more time, breath in, lengthen, open. On your exhale, pull your left thigh in close as you lift your head and shoulders. You can decide to keep your right leg exactly as it is, or if you want a little bit more challenge, send your right leg forward towards a low diagonal or a hover. I'm going to take three more rounds. So everything else stays the same. Inhale, lengthen your left leg forward. Reach your hands up and overhead. On your exhale, pull your left leg in. Lift your head and shoulders. Stretch your fingertips towards your toes. All right, last two. Breathe in to extend and open. Low back stays completely anchored. Exhale, left knee in, reach forward. Last one here, breath in, lengthen, reach. Exhale, draw your left leg close, lift your head and shoulders, let heat at your center. And then interlace your hands on your left shin. Let your head, shoulders, and right leg all release down. Take a deep breath. And as you breathe out, find your supine twist, second side. Okay, one inhale. And one exhale. Good 
just like we did on the first side as you roll onto your back body with your left foot to the earth so left knee bent left foot rooted square your hips use your center to lift your right leg up to the sky take your time now reach behind your right leg and encourage your leg gently towards your body Start to breathe, towards the back of your heart. Down towards the earth, maybe reach your right heel high to the sky. And take one more breath in. And one more breath out. Now keep your right leg where it is, reaching towards the ceiling. Send your hands up and overhead like a full body stretch. While your inhale, right leg lowers, slow and steady. On your exhale, really drive down with your left foot, pull your right thigh towards your chest, lift your head and shoulders. So think about pushing through your left foot to lift your upper body. Good inhale, lengthen your right leg forward, reach your hands up and overhead. Same thing, exhale, push, pull and reach. Good, one more like this, inhale, extend. And on your exhale, draw your right thigh in close. Lift, reach forward, pause. Again, option to stay right here or send your left leg forward for a little bit of extra spice. You're gonna inhale, reach to your right leg, reach your hands overhead, your one long line. Exhale, pull your right thigh close. Lift your head and shoulders. And last two, breathe in to extend. Think about leaving with your sternum rather than your chin as you pull your right thigh in. Sternum leads the way. You relax the neck as best as we can. Last one, breathe in to reach. Here we go, exhale, right leg close. Lift your head and shoulders to that little pause at the top. And then bring your left knee to your body. Let your head and shoulders drop back. Take a deep breath in. And the cleansing exhale out. And start to make your way up to tabletop pose, all fours. So you can rock and roll forward and back. Or just sit to your left or to your right. Now bring your shoulders to stop over your wrists and hips above your knees. And then just one round of cat cow. Inhale to lift your heart and send your tailbone to the sky. Really drag your hands towards your knees and your heart through your biceps. And exhale to your cat pose. Shoulders stay out of your ears and press your hands down and away as you round your spine. Then go ahead and find a neutral spine on your right. And keep your shoulders over your wrists for a moment. Just send your left leg out to the side and line with your hip. Bring all four corners of your left foot to the earth. Engage your quad if you press your left foot down. Now reach your right hand up to the sky. Turn your heart to the right with a big breath in. On your exhale, thread your right hand towards your left foot and reach your hips back in space. So booty back, right hand reaches towards your left foot like a thread of the needle. And then inhale, shift forward and pull your right hand open to the sky again. Now same thing, exhale, shift your hips back, reach your right fingertips towards your left toes. And inhale, pull yourself forward and twist open to the right. Okay, last one here, reach your hips back, reach your right hand towards your left toes. Then keep your hips reaching back in space. Reach both hands forward in front of you, come to your fingertips and dive your heart down. So the height of your hips is gonna depend on your own individual body. So think heart low, hips back, strong left quad, anchor through your fingertips. And then it shift forward again and just come back into your traditional tabletop. Right, left knee underneath your left hip. And we'll go right into second side. So extend your right leg out to the right. Engage your quad. Reach your left hand out to the ceiling. Turn your heart open to the left. Breath in. On your exhale, thread your left hand towards your right toes and press your hips back in space. Your left shoulder doesn't have to touch the earth. And shift forward and breathe your left hand to the sky. 
Uh, same thing, exhale, hips back, left hand reaches underneath towards your right toes. Shift forward and open on your inhale. Okay, last one here, exhale, hips back, left hand reaches through. You're gonna keep your hips back, but walk your fingertips out in front of you. And dive your heart down any amount. Continue to engage your right quad gently. Think about the anchor of your fingertips as you reach your sitting bones back. You can go ahead and shift forward to tabletop pose, all fours. And then tuck your toes underneath. And as you press through your hands and your toes, hover your knees a couple of inches off the earth. So you're hovering tabletop. You root to rise energy here. So root into the earth to pull your navel in a little bit tighter. Take a breath in. Stay for your exhale. And one more inhale. And then downward facing dog, reach your hips up and back. Relax the weight of your head. Maybe pedal through your feet a little bit. Just take a moment to arrive to your space. Welcoming yourself to your practice with each breath in, each breath out. On your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky, and your three-legged dog. On your exhale, bring your knee towards your nose, thigh high into your heart, similar to that core connection we found on our back body. The three-legged dog, breathe and reach your right leg to the sky. Right knee, right tricep, breath out. Three-legged dog, inhale up and back. Take your time to your left tricep on your exhale. Three-legged dog, breathe in to reach. And step your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Go ahead and drop your left knee down to the earth. Pull your heart forward a little bit. And reach your left hand out in front of your left shoulder. Right, get light through your right fingertips. Press through your right foot, your left knee, and engage your belly. Lean with your left hand, lift your heart towards the sky. And let your right hand reach up too. Breathe in to lift your right hand. On your exhale, eagle wrap your left arm underneath your right. So again, this is where you get to choose. Does eagle arms work for you? Do you want to choose something else? Draw your navel to your spine. And as you breathe in, lift your elbows up towards the sky a little bit. Maybe look up to the sky. On your exhale, without dumping forward into your hips, go ahead and curl like a cat spine through your upper back. So stay tall. Just pull your elbows to the back of your heart. Let your fingertips lower to point towards the earth. Head is heavy, navel to spine. So working to stretch the front of your left hip. That's where if you stay a little bit back in space. Yeah. You're going to get a deeper stretch in your front left hip. Breathe in, lift your eagle arms up to the sky. You might now let your hips forward a little bit. On your exhale, unwind through goddess arms. So open your elbows out wide, open your heart. Let your hands fall to frame your right foot. Lift your back knee off the earth and then lengthen both your legs to a cat lunge. Relax the weight of your head. And go ahead and bend into your front knee. Step forward to a forward fold. Left foot meets your right. And soften your knees and just let your head fall heavy. And give yourself a full cycle of breath just to be right here. And keep a little softness in your knees. And on your inhale, begin to lift up halfway lengthen from your crown to your tail. Your exhale forward, full, let it go. Long breath in, rise all the way to stand. Urdhva Hastasana, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, soften your knees and slowly fold right back down to the earth. You're going to take a half lift on your inhale, extend long again. Use your exhale to step back to high plank pose. Plant your hands. And mindfully step your feet back. As strong as your quads, push down through your hands and feet as you take a breath. 
You're going to inhale to shift forward. Knees up or down. How slowly can you lower? Actively pull your elbows back. So your triceps slide up as you release to the earth. As you arrive to your mat, untuck your toes. Inhale to a low cobra. Press down with your toenails and pull your heart forward. And on your exhalation, release. And take one more. Inhale to low cobra. Option to find goddess arms. So maybe lift your elbows for that squeeze behind your heart as your shoulder blades draw together. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, release, hands by your lower ribs, forehead to the earth. Head into an upward facing dog, or you can of course go back to cobra if you prefer that. Begin to lengthen your arms as you breathe in. Put your thighs off the ground. And then downward facing dog, your exhale, hold your pelvis up and back. Good. Take a breath in here, nice and slow. And take a breath out. Okay, finding second side, go ahead and breathe in and lift your left leg towards the ceiling. Use your exhale to bring your left knee to your nose. Think high into your heart with your left thigh. Three legged like dog, breathe your left leg up and back. Left knee, left shoulder, shift forward. And one more inhale, three with your dog. Exhale, left knee towards your right, trace across underneath your body. Three legged like dog breath in. And the left foot lands forward on your exhale out. Right knee releases to the earth. Pull your navel to your spine, reach your right hand forward in front of your right shoulder. So just the right hand's gonna lead the way here. Your left foot, use your core. Right hand pulls you up into your low crescent. Breathe in. Let your left hand reach up to meet it and settle in. And then start to eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. So again, this is your variation. And as we pull your navel in, notice where your hips and your ribcage are now. This is where they're going to stay. The cat cow action happens just in the upper half of the body. So inhale, lift your elbows towards the ceiling. You look up on your exhale, stay lifted through your hips, your torso, just draw your elbows towards the back of your heart. So you stay really tall. You're just curling through the top half of your torso. Pull your navel in, feel a stretch to the front of your right hip. And then on an inhale, go ahead and lift your eagle elbows to the sky. This time, maybe melt your hips a little bit closer to your mat. And goddess your arms, unwind, open through your heart space. Hands are going to fall down to the earth to find your left foot. Lift your back knee and extend both your legs to your hamstring stretch, your cat lunge. Your heart relax low. Then follow your in-breath to bend your left knee. Exhale forward, fold at top of your yoga mat, Uttanasana. Take your inhale to lift up halfway. Lengthen and strengthen. And exhale forward, fold, release. Breathe in to rise tall, Urdhva Hastasana, reach up towards the ceiling. Yeah, awesome. On your exhale, fold to the earth, soft knees, slow hinge. Take a half lift on your breath in. Find your high plank as you breathe out. Now follow your inhale forward to your tippy toes. Knees up or down, lower half layer all the way for your chaturanga. Take your time. Open your heart up, dog or cobra, deep breath in. And you all meet together, downward facing dog as you breathe out. And breathe through your nose. And then clear that breath out of your mouth. Go ahead and inhale to lift your heels up high. On your exhale, like an ocean wave, like a cat spine, you're gonna roll forward to high plank. So push them to your hands, pull your front ribs in so your core is active when you arrive. 
in your high plank. Take an inhale. Option to gun your knees and press your hips to your heels. That's an add-on. You can always hold your high plank. On your exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Push through your left toes. Breath in. Step your right toes back to high plank. Maybe bend your knees, hips to heels. Right knee and right shoulder. Push through your left toes. One more. Step your right toes back. Maybe bend your knees, hips to heels as you breathe in. Right knee, left tricep, exhale. From here, three-legged dog, lift your right leg to the sky. And then exhale, right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Go ahead and spin your left heel to the earth for warrior one. So adjust until your feet are completely rooted. Your left heel at 45-ish degree angle. Pull your heart forward. Rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Big breath in. Let's give yourself a moment here. So in your warrior one, okay. We aren't trying to make our hips square. We're just moving energetically in that direction. So plug your right thigh in. Your left hip out forward. You feel that anchor to the outside edge of your left foot. So you're going to inhale at the top. Exhale, airplane your arms, hinge your heart forward, and unhook your back heel. So come to your left toes. So it's like a little bit of a shorter lunge dance. On your next breath, then reach your hands out overhead, reaching crescent. And on your exhale, goddess your elbows wide, squeeze. Tip your weight to your right foot, then flamingo your left leg to your seat. Yeah, strong. Enable the spine to connection. <clears throat> and then push your right foot, rise up to stand with your left leg. So right away into some standing balance. Okay, your one legged to dasana, breathe in. And on your exhale, a little softness to your right knee. And find fists of fire here. So create fists with your hands and pull back with your biceps and maybe extend your left leg forward. Then flex your biceps as you pull your elbows back, squeeze your shoulders together, and kick through your left heel. From here, release your fist of fire, airplane pose, fly your left leg and your arms beside you. That really good. Take one breath in. And on your exhale, crescent lunge, left toes release. Inhale, reach through your heart and your hands. Warrior two, open up, let your left heel anchor down. As you settle in, we're going to take a reverse triangle shape next. So extend your right leg and reach your right hand to the sky. Then a micro bend through your right knee and anchor through your left heel, reaching triangle. It's going to hinge forward. You don't have to go very far. We're trying to press from our left core strength or our left obliques down into our left foot. As you continue to reach through your right fingertips, you roll your left shoulder back a little bit in space. Wrap your right ribs forward. On your next breath in, bend your right knee and reach your left hand overhead towards your right fingertips, just in that direction. On your exhale, keep the hinge through your body, but lengthen your right leg and reach your left hand back in space. So back to your starting point. Same thing, bend your right knee, reach your left hand over towards your right fingertips, breath in. On your exhale, pull your left obliques. Try to keep the hinge though. One more time, right knee bends, left hand reaches up and over on your inhale, using your left obliques. Lengthen your right leg, reach your left fingertips. Reverse your warrior, bend your right knee, scoop your right hand to the sky on an inhale. And then into your wide-legged forward fold, turn all 10 toes forward and soften. And find a halfway lift as you breathe in. And then bend your left knee for a side lunge. So staying lifted in side lunge rather than going to skandhasana. Take your right fingertips or your right palm to the earth and twist your left hand to the sky. Similar to what we did on our tabletop. Big breath in. On your exhale, reach your left hand through towards your right toes. You can bend your right elbow, but feel this as like a stretch and twist through your upper back or thoracic. And inhale, pull back open, left hand to the sky. And same thing, exhale, sink into your hips, reach your left hand through. 
Inhale, pull your left hand open. Last one here, exhale. Left hand reaches through towards your right toes. Then breathe in, pull your left hand open to the sky. Turn all 10 toes to your left, lower to the back of your yoga mat. And from here, press into your left foot. Find your high crescent lunge, slow and steady. Breathe in to lift up. And on your exhale, you go wrap your right arm underneath your left or find your arm variation. With your breath in, lift your elbows towards the sky a little bit. On your exhale, you're gonna curl like a cat spine with your upper back and dip your right knee towards a hover at the same time. So dip and curl crunch. And so we breathe in, lift and lengthen through your right leg. At the top, unwind through goddess arms, open your chest. Let your hands fall to the earth to frame your left foot. Step back into your high plank pose. You choose vinyasa or down dog, so either shift forward through a chaturanga or shift back into downward facing dog. You can also choose a different combination of shapes if you prefer that. Take a breath in slowly. And then beside that breath out. Inhale, lift your heels up high. And use your exhale to roll forward like a wave to high plank. Again, push the earth away. Draw your front ribs in as you shift. At your high plank, you can hold here or bend your knees towards a hopper. Pull your navel to your spine to press your hips to your heels, shoulders out of ears. Bring your left knee to your nose as you exhale. Shoulders stay out of your ears. Step your left toes back. Maybe bend your knees, hips to heels as you inhale. Pull through your center. Left knee, left shoulder as you exhale. Step back, maybe shift back, big breath in. Left knee, right tricep, exhale. Then step back. Actually, don't do that. Lift your left leg to the sky, three legged dog. Full breath in. Now step your left foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. There we go. Spin your right heel into your warrior one stance. If you need to shorten and widen your stance at all you can. Okay, once you have your roots, connect to your core, your trunk, and then rise up, Veer of Adrasana one. Now give yourself a moment to find your shape. And then to find your breath within your shape. And inhale. Airplane arms will be unhook your right heel. Can you find that tip forward? It's gonna help you out in a moment. Right, you reach your hands overhead, get proud of your heart, big breath in. So you're this big hinge. Goddess your arms as you exhale, squeeze. Continue to tip your weight to your left foot. And then use your right hamstring to flamingo your right hip to your seat. Navel to spine. And from here, start to press down to your left foot and rise all the way up, one legged to Okay, you can have a little softness in your left knee, take a breath in. Fist of fire, flex your biceps, find a bicep curl as you pull your elbows back, then you have the option to extend through your right leg. Squeeze your biceps, then fly into your airplane pose. Energy through your back leg, lengthen the nape of your neck and the crown of your head out in front of you. And then crescent lunge, step your right toes to the earth. And inhale, lift your heart in your hands. Warrior two, right heel rotates down. And establish your roots. And then reverse your triangle, left leg goes long, reach your left hand to the sky. Create a stretch through the side body, the side body you worked from the previous side. With a little micro bend with your left knee, start to hinge forward. So think, untuck your tail up and back. Reach through your left fingertips. And then use your right obliques to anchor through your right heel. Navel to spine. Your tailbone extends to your right heel and you're gonna roll your right shoulder back. So we're really working to access our right side core here. 
Follow an in breath to bend your left knee. Reach your right hand overhead. So it's like this reaching set angle. And we exhale back into our reaching triangle. Lengthen through your left leg. Keep the hinge, but reach your right fingertips behind you. Two more. So the hinge stays the same. Bend your left knee. Right hand stoops overhead. Big breath in. Press your right foot. Exhale, lengthen your left leg. Sweep your right hand back. Has yeah, so so good. One more time. Bend your left knee. Reach over as you inhale. Nice, Christine. Exhale, lengthen and reach back. And you reverse your warrior. So bend into your left knee and sweep your left hand to the sky. Full inhale. Wide legged forward fold. All ten toes turn forward. Dive on down. Listen for an inhale to lift up halfway. And then bend your right knee, side lunge on your exhale. You can stay right here. We're gonna add on that thread the needle action. So left hand stays low, fingertips or palm to the earth. Twist your right hand to the sky. And inhale, reach your sits bones back, heart forward. Exhale, reach your right hand underneath towards your left toes. Remember your left elbow can bend. Breathe in, pull open. And exhale, thread your right hand through. One more time. Breathe in, draw yourself open. And exhale, thread your right hand through. And then inhale, pull your right hand open, heart towards the right. Rotate to the right, low lunge to the top of your yoga mat. From the strength of your feet, lengthen your chest forward first. And then from that long, strong right, foundation, high crescent lunge, rise up on your breath. At the top, exhale, eagle wrap your left arm underneath your right. And as you breathe in, scoop your eagle elbows up to the sky. With your exhale, curl, crunch, dip your left knee to a hover, pull your navel in around your spine like a cat. Really draw your pelvis back, your elbows back to the front of your left hip. And inhale, lift your elbows to the sky. Goddess, your arms open your chest. Hands to your yoga mat. High plank pose. You choose chaturanga or downward facing dog. And then after your transition, we'll take three to five breaths in child's pose before we take our last layer. You could also choose to be in a shape of effort, like forearm plank or dolphin or down dog. But just give yourself a moment to pause, to breathe, and to lengthen each breath in and each breath out. And we have one more layer that is very similar to this last layer. A couple of different add-ons, options. Feel free to customize each and everything to your body. Go ahead and find your way forward into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips to the sky. And take a moment to find the length of your spine. And then with an inhale, Lift your right leg to the ceiling. <clears throat> On your exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Keep your shoulders forward. One-legged plank or high plank, either float your right leg or tap your right toes to the earth. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. One-legged plank or high plank, breath in. Right knee, left tricep, breath out. Listen, side plank, left hand's gonna be your base. You're opening towards the right side of your yoga mat. Micro bend your left elbow. You can stack or stagger your right foot. You can also drop your left knee to the earth for a modified side plank. Or you can lift your right leg up. Okay, wherever you are, take a big breath in. On your exhale, thread your right hand underneath your left ribs. Press the earth away to lift your hips as you reach your right hand underneath your rib cage. And then breathe in to open your right hand to the sky again. 
Look towards the top of your yoga mat. Pull your right knee towards your heart and step your right foot forward to a low lunge. You can always help your leg there if it doesn't quite arrive to where you want it. Warrior one, spin your left heel down and breathe in to lift up. And your exhale is going to be airplane arms, unhook your back heel. Press to your right foot to stay elevated your torso and then reach your hands out overhead. Big breath in. As you goddess your arms, flamingo your left toe to your seat. Now keep your weight in your right foot. You can hold here, or we're going to take a little pulse. So on your inhale, be lengthen your arms out in front of you. Just tap your left toes down to the earth. On your exhale, goddess your arms, pull your navel to your spine, the flamingo your left heel up and in. That same thing, inhale, lengthen, maybe tap. Exhale, goddess arms, flamingo. Last one here, continue to drive through your right heel as you lengthen and as you contract. Rise up to stay with your left leg. It's a big push. Breathe in, reach tall. On your exhale, fist the fire, maybe extend your left leg. From here, you choose warrior sphere or airplane so you can either reach your hands forward or back as you sweep your left leg behind you. Crescent lunge, left toes release. Breathe in, lift your heart. Warrior two, open. Okay, here we go, reverse your triangle. So right leg goes long, reach your right hand to the sky. Find a little micro bend through your right knee, reaching triangle tip forward. Again, this is not so much about how far you hinge, it's about finding that sweet spot for your left obliques. So for me, it's actually a little bit higher than lower here. So once you have that connection to your left obliques, we're gonna keep our right leg extended, reach your left hand overhead this time, breath in. Navel to spine, exhale, reach your left hand back, lean your left shoulder back. Same thing, inhale, left hand sweeps overhead for the pressure in your core. Exhale, left hand reaches back. Lengthen your tailbone away from the crown of your head. Last one here, breathe in, reach overhead. Exhale, reach it back. Reverse your warrior, bend your right knee, right hand to the sky. On your exhale, wide legged forward fold. Use your breath in to lift up halfway. And your breath out turns you to the back of your yoga mat, low lunge. And go ahead and just step your left foot back into your high plank pose. Breathe in to shift forward, vinyasa or down dog on your exhale. So you either take your chaturanga or again, just pull your pelvis up and back. Here we go, on in-breath, elevate your left leg to the ceiling. Exhale, brings your left knee to your nose, shoulders out of ears as you shift forward. One-legged plank or high plank, push your left leg back as you breathe in strong through your right quad. Left knee, left shoulder on your exhale. One-legged plank or high plank on your in-breath. Exhale, your left knee towards your right tricep. Side plank opening to the left, your right hand as your base. Find your variation in your legs. Micro bend your right elbow as you open your heart. Big breath in. Thread your left hand underneath your right ribs. Try to pike your hips up away from the earth a little bit as you thread and reach. And then inhale, open your left hand to the sky. Look towards your right hand and pull your left knee slowly towards your chest. And step your left foot forward to the top. Remember, you can help it there. Warrior one through your feet. Inhale to rise tall. Let your exhalation airplane hinge you forward as you unhook your back heel. Again, we don't want to be super low through our torso. We want to make sure that our low back is supported. So pull your heart up a little bit. Pull your navel to your spine and reach your hands overhead. 
as you goddess your arms tip your weight to your left foot flamingo your right hand to your seat make sure your navel is still super active to your spine here reach and tap your right toes down so keep your torso where it is over the left leg and then go ahead and goddess and flamingo two more inhale reach and tap exhale goddess flamingo last one breathe in reach and tap exhale goddess and flamingo rise to stand with your right leg big push for your left breathe in Take fists of fire, maybe extend your right leg forward. And then you choose airplane or warrior three, hands go in front of you or beside you. With intention, find your crescent lunge, step your right toes down, lift your torso. Then warrior two, we open together. Okay, very close. Let's go ahead and reverse your triangle on an inhale. Find your reaching triangle as you exhale. So finding all of extension through your left side, roll your right shoulder back. Okay, micro bend through your left knee, just breathe. Sweep your right hand overhead. And your exhale, reach your right fingertips back, but keep your left fingertips extended forward. Two more like this. Keep leaning your right shoulder back as you inhale to reach. And exhale to pull. Good, one more, trying to find that pressure in your right obliques. Inhale, reach. And exhale, draw your right hand back. Reverse your warrior, left knee bend, scoop high. Wide legged forward fold and dive down. Swallow your in breath to lift up halfway. And exhale, rotate to your right, low bend to the top of your yoga mat. Step back into your high plank pose. You choose vinyasa or down dog. We'll all eventually meet in our child's pose together. So give yourself another three slow cycles of breath. And then once you have gathered yourself, your breath, you're gonna rise up and make your way into your back body however you would like. So as you scoot to the top of your yoga mat, you can choose to lower down from the, the strength and control of your core. You can also just hug your knees and relax back onto the earth. So it's up to you. We'll meet on the back body. It's a full body stretch, so maybe heel anchors or boat poles. Slowly start to find your way back, or again, just hug your knees in and tip down to the earth. As you find a full body stretch, fingers reach up and overhead, full breath in through that new space in your body. On your exhale, bend your knees into your chest. Take a breath in. And find a modified happy baby as you breathe out. So keep your hands on the fronts of your shins, the fronts of your knees, and just let your knees go wide. Have you your head, your shoulders, your hips. Take a breath here. And then eagle wrap your right thigh on top of your left. You just need a single stack unless you want the double. Drop your knees over to the left into an eagle leg twist.
then gently bring yourself back to center. And then slide your right ankle into figure four. So from your eagle legs, just pull your right knee to the right until you find your figure four. You're gonna reach behind your left hamstring if you'd like to, or you can just place your left foot down to the earth. Maybe a little rock from side to side. Your glutes worked really hard in the background today and all the standing balance and in your warriors. So let one more breath travel through. And as you breathe out, unwind your legs. You go back to either your modified happy baby, or maybe this time you go to a different expression. Perhaps you reach your hands to your ankles or your feet. Root yourself into the earth. Draw your navel to the back of your body, stretching through your low back. Maybe a rock from side to side. And then you're going to eagle rock your left thigh on top of your right. And let your knees eventually tip over to the right eagle and twist. to make your way back to center with your leg unit and then find your figure four left ankle on your right thigh right foot can stay rooted or maybe you bring that whole figure four towards your body maybe a little rock from side to side sending gratitude throughout your entire being Appreciating your body, your heart, and your mind. When you start to feel complete, you're going to unwind your legs, bring your knees into your chest, curl your nose up to your knees. If there's one final shape or movement that you'd like to add in, feel free to add that in. Otherwise, just take a big breath here. And as you breathe out, make your way into your Shavasana, your final relaxation. Your eyes close. That feels safe. And allow your body to melt into your mat. As you surrender away all effort, and allow yourself to be held fully supported by the earth below. In this moment, can you practice accepting your whole self? Practicing that acceptance so we can and share that with each and every person that we encounter. Accepting not only those that are easy to accept, but also putting in the mindful and intentional work to accept those that are different than us, those that have different perspectives, different opinions, lifestyles, worldviews. And we still accept them as who they are.
without any breath control to fade away to. As you slowly settle into these last few minutes of your practice, devoted to just being in your body as you are, receiving the benefits of your practice, resting in deep gratitude and appreciation. to turn your awareness back to your breath. Just feeling that slow and steady rise of each breath in. The slow and steady release of each breath out. As you feel your inhale float up through your body, that sense of buoyancy so you fill your lungs for the contrast as your exhale empties that breath away. You maybe feel yourself release even deeper into the earth below. You can choose to stay exactly as you are and just continue to rest, relax. Maybe you start to bring some movement back in. Maybe an inhale extends your hands overhead to another full body stretch. And then your exhale, you can either arrive your hands at your heart right away, or feel free to slowly and gently find your way up to a comfortable seat. In this last moment, we pause to acknowledge the time and the intention that you devoted to your practice. You pause to recognize the energy that we shared, the energy you offered, and the energy that you received in this virtual community. We also pause to acknowledge the ancient roots of this practice and a practice that continues to serve and support us today. So take one more deep breath in through your nose, nice and full. And one more clearing, exhale to release. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. And may our practices serve as our teachers to lead us in living more authentically and loving more deeply each and every day. Thank you so, so much. And namaste. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, have a really, really beautiful Tuesday and um, rest of your week. <laughs> if you have questions, you can always reach out to me. Um, also, classes are all donation-based, so if you feel inclined to contribute, that's always deeply, deeply appreciated. Um, I'll be back next Tuesday at 7 a.m., same time, same place, new flow. Uh, but thanks so much for being here.
Bye. <laughs>